the American people are fundamentally pro-legal immigration and anti-illegal immigration. Illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration, which the American people overwhelmingly oppose. If you don't think it's illegal, you're not going to say it. I think it is illegal and wrong, and we have to change it. Above all else, the American people want their government to be serious about protecting the public, enforcing the rule of law, and creating a rational system of legal immigration that will proactively fit our needs rather than reactively responding to future waves of illegal immigration. People who enter the United States without our permission are illegal aliens, and illegal aliens should not be treated the same as people who entered the U.S. legally. The American people will never accept immigration reform unless they truly believe that their government is committed to ending future illegal immigration. And any successful comprehensive immigration reform bill must recognize this fact. Any immigration solution must recognize that we must do as much as we can to gain control of our borders as soon as possible. But we also need to set the record straight. The American people need to know that because of our efforts in Congress, our border is far more secure today than it was when we began debating comprehensive reform in 2005. Between 2005 and 2009, a vast amount of progress has been made on our borders and ports of entry. The progress includes 9,000 new Border Patrol field, aid, field agents in the last four years, construction of a 630-mile border fence, or 630 miles of border fence, that create a significant barrier to illegal immigration on our southern land border. The time has come to end the divisive rhetoric about our border. Fewer illegal immigrants, higher GDP, more jobs, reduced deficit. Who could oppose that? I don't know of anybody, Madam President, if they care about America. We know that keeping our borders safe from dangerous gang members, drug dealers, and human traffickers is critical. We let cross the border millions who take jobs away from American workers. I want to make it extremely clear that first and foremost, we are committed to ending the waves of illegal immigration that we've seen in the last 30 years. Crossing the border without permission from the government is a crime. When we, when we catch someone crossing the border, prosecute them and deport them, we are solving the crime and punishing the criminal. One of the most effective things we do on the border is turn people back. You don't catch them after they cross the border. They get up to the border and we find them and say, go home. Make no mistake, our border will be secured as a result of this bill. We appropriate $6.5 billion up front in this bill to bolster our security efforts. Now, for days now, days and weeks, I have heard senators who would oppose any immigration bill saying that our bill does not secure the border as if these $6.5 billion do not count. But don't say it won't do anything to secure the border. History shows that, of course, it will. The senator from New York. We need to make sure that the flood of new immigrants does not drown our local governments out. These localities are not to blame for the federal government's failure to adequately secure our borders. Illegal immigration will be a thing of the past. The wall request is a non-starter for many reasons. The wall request is a non-starter for many reasons.